The NTCSA is one of ESCOM's legal separations of three entities, namely generation, distribution and transmission. The unbundling was first announced in President Senor Ramaphosa's 2019 State of the Nation address. Energy and Electricity Minister Hosien Tsoramohopa delivered a keynote address describing the launch as a positive step towards energy security and electricity availability. We know that there's a misalignment between uh, our, our asset, renewable energy assets, and also grid capacity uh, constraints in the Cape provinces, Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, and Western Cape. So you must unlock those uh, opportunities. So we have uh, stated today that we think it's possible that by 2027 we can get an additional 11,000 megawatts uh, on stream. Uh, we can be able to build over 1,200 kilometers uh, of, uh, of new lines. And of course, that's just based on the ESCOM balance sheet. The company started its operations on July 1st, while some of the work has already been done in building the country's transmission infrastructure. Service providers were appointed to help with the building of a 14,000 kilometer stretch transmission lines by 2032. Despite being a newly formed entity, the NTC has already made substantial progress in implementing its strategy. We have approved 112 billion for TDP investment in the next five years. We recognize that collaboration and public-private partnerships are critical to ensure that we achieve the 53,000 megawatts of new generation connection required over the next decade. There have been talks over time of the need for a tariff reform in the country with the transmission company also raising its concerns as it works with NESA. This is very essential work that has to be done. Um, there had work been done um, late last year by NESA around uh, what they refer to as activity-based uh, costing and, and restructuring the tariff. Um, there were some challenges along the way and they have had to go back to the drawing board. So the question of, I think, uh, restructuring the tariff, I don't think it's a debate. I think it's just around getting on with it. Um, and, and so we will be working, obviously, closely with NESA and other stakeholders to, to get that done. The Black Business Council has welcomed the launch, saying this will help unlock opportunities for independent power producers that have been calling for access to the grid. It also wants localization prioritized. We are very, very encouraged by what the Mr. Skippers and the Minister have said, that we, as South Africa, we've got a serious unemployment uh, challenge, and, and we need to utilize this uh, opportunity. You've heard the ministers make, uh, mentioning, uh, the, the, the CEO mentioning the billions that are going to be required for to expand the network, the transmission network. It's important that at the center of that is localization to ensure that we're going to be able to create the necessary jobs that we, we need as a country. Uh, we, we also need to make sure that as we are expanding the network, we do not forget that we've got a certain history in South Africa that excluded black people from participating in the mainstream of the economy. So it's important that we need to make sure that black people will participate in this expansion of the network. The ESCOM CEO says these developments will serve towards the company's operational sustainability as per the Teleround strategy. The country is now approaching the 200-day mark with no implementation of load shedding. ESCOM says as the company moves to unbundle the entity, the next step will be a focus on distribution. The engagement continues with NESA on the tariff reforms for a smooth access to the grid by the IPPs and the affordability of electricity. South Africa is also on track, we are told, on its mission of building about a 14,000 kilometer stretch of these high voltage lines by 2032 through the newly launched transmission company. Katla Rodi, SABC News in Sunning Hill.